Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and you are watching Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. Central Panama and its 80 kilometer long ship canal that connects the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans by way of the Caribbean Sea are pictured in this Envisat image. Completed in 1914, the Panama Canal is one of the greatest engineering projects of the last century. Locks at either end of the waterway are used to lift entering ships up to the canal's level of 26 meters and lower them to sea level as they exit. The canal sees 12 to 15,000 vessels pass each year. It takes an average of 8 to 10 hours for a ship to transit. On either end of the canal, ships that are entering, exiting, or waiting to cross the waterway appear as dots of red, green, and blue. We can even see them in the channel and in the large Lake Gatun. The artificial Lake Gatun was created between 1904 and 1914 as part of the water system for the Panama Canal. Because Panama has a winter dry season, the surplus water stored in the lake helps keep the locks operating. Also near either end of the canal, high radar reflections appear as clusters of white dots at Panama City on the southern shore and Colon on the northern shore. The Central American nation is about the size of the Czech Republic. It enjoys a tropical climate and is an attractive tourist destination for its beaches, mountains and rainforests. In the 1940s, nearly 70% of Panama was covered by forests. Today, forests cover less than half of the country, mainly due to logging operations, infrastructure development and cattle ranching. Forests play a crucial role in Earth's carbon cycle by absorbing carbon from the atmosphere and reduction of forest cover can have a major negative effect on our climate. Well, that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.